Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike, this is Mike Tech Builds. You have joined me in my bedroom refurb. As you can see, it is all freshly plastered, ready for some painting, and that is what we'll be going through with you in today's video. Um, I'll be going through with you some tips and tricks I've learned over the years, um, how to prep properly and get it all nicely painted, nice and smooth all around your room, and hopefully it will look like a nice professional job once they're all finished in here. So with all that said, let's get started. So first things first, grab yourself Henry the Hobo and the standing knife, and these are going to be for our plug socket. So as you can see, plasters are lovely and messy, and what they tend to do is leave all this crud inside the back boxes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna gently, with our standing knife, go around the outside of our sockets without touching our cables then hoover all this out so when we start painting around here we won't get any of this in our paint so we're going to get all them get all this hoover all out get all it all nice cleaned out and then move on to the next stage We've hoovered out all our sockets and made them look pretty. Um, I'd recommend with the floor just to give it a nice hoover so there's no dust in there that will go onto our walls and ceiling, um, just to give you a nice smooth finish. So with our freshly plastered walls, you can get now paint ready made for plastered walls. Um, which is excellent because you haven't got to worry about buying paint and watering it down and then trying to get a base coat on the walls and see them that way. So this is ready to go straight onto the walls. You haven't got to worry about mixing it down with water. Um, you can just put this straight in the scuttle and go for it. So um, I've gone for a medium pile roller. Uh, I always find these best for walls and ceilings. Um, you're going to need a scuttle with a, and then with the scuttle, these are a godsend. So these are a plastic bag that opens up that fills your scuttle. So what we do, we fill this up with paint, and then at the end when we're finished, we just empty our paint straight back into this, and then we just close this up and we can just chuck it. And then there's no mess in the scuttle, and that just saves a load of time. Um, obviously. You, we still got to clean the rollers and the paintbrush, but um, just to save a little bit of time, these aren't these are cheap. I say a, a pack of rolls, only a few quid, so I think you can get ten or fifteen in a roll, uh, so they last uh, quite well, um, and yeah, they do really good. So um, with a paintbrush, I've gone for a four-inch paintbrush uh, to go around all the outside first and then I've gone for a sandpaper also. So with these, so once you've done a base coat, just give it a nice light sand over and that just gives you a super smooth finish. This is a 120 grit, you haven't got to go mad on the grit, um, just to take off any roughness on the walls and then it just gives you a really nice smooth finish. So we're going to start on the ceiling first. With the paintbrush, you're going to go around all the outsides and then you're going to roller in inside the middle. So when rollering, all you're going to want to do is go side to side. Don't go over crossways because you won't get a smooth finish. So always just go side to side once you've done all the outside with your paintbrush. And then the same with the walls. With the paintbrush, all you're going to do, you're going to do the corners first um, and then with the windows, just go around the windows as well. And then you can roll up all the walls with the white plastic paint and that just gives you a nice beige coat. And then obviously with the ceiling, depending on what color you paint the ceiling, I'll go with Fort White. So once you've done your plastic white paint, uh, you can just top coat it with your super white matte paint. And then the same with the walls, if you're going for white again, just paint straight over them with your top coat, or I'm gonna wait and we're gonna do some different colors in here. Um, and then, yeah, give it some contrast in here. Um, another quick note, with the window, um, I'm going to cover these up. Uh, you can buy a sticky back plastic to go straight on the walls, but as we are filming in here, I don't want it to give it 
a uh, normally the back, normally the sticky back plastic comes in different colours. It comes in a pink or blue, and for filming wise, it will actually make this room look pink or blue, and I don't want that. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to stick some cling film over the windows, so when we roll, all the uh, the, the bits from the paint won't go over the window, and then at the end of the video, we can take all that off, and it's all it all still looks nice. So with all that said, let's crack on. So a little tip when you're doing your walls, uh, when you're rolling the walls, um, you'll notice that I've not gone all the way down to the bottom. That's because uh, the skirting boards cover the bit at the bottom. So if you just roll her um, all the way down to just before you touch the floor, um, it's just so if there is any crap on the floor, um, it doesn't go onto your roller and then it doesn't spoil your walls. So the ceiling's done, the walls are done, so they've had their first mist coat of uh, new paint on the plastered walls. So we're going to let that dry. Um, drying instructions should be on the back of the paint tub for you, so make sure you give it plenty of time to dry. And then what we're going to do, we're going to give the ceilings a good sand down and the walls a good sand down. And this just made, basically gives it a nice smooth finish for our next layer of paint. So as you saw, I've sanded the ceiling and I've sanded the walls. Um, I wear a hat just to stop the dust going in my eyes. Uh, there's going to be dust everywhere, unfortunately. Um, you'll see that there'll be dust on the floor, so make sure you give it a good hoover when you're sanding down. And also a little tip, just to hoover out the sockets because there'll be dust in them as well, uh, because we don't want dust on our freshly painted walls. So with that done, we're going to give the ceiling two coats of white paint, and then we're going to give the walls two Two coats of our preferred colour as well. So as you can see the ceiling's super white now so that's all done and now we can move on to the walls. So with the walls in here we're going to do a feature wall. A feature wall is a different colour to the rest of the walls. So and also with this feature wall we're going to be doing some panelling but we're going to be doing that in the next coming videos as well and then I'll show you how to do all that. But with all the walls we're just going to finish all the walls with what colour we're going to go with, um, including the panel wall. It's easy just to do a base coat and top coat on all the walls first and then we'll do the panelling afterwards and then it will look really nice. Uh, so just remember when doing your walls, uh, you've just got to take your time cutting in across the top underneath the coving. Cutting in means just going from one colour to the other. To the other. Uh, so just take time. You, some people like to use marking tape or frog tape. Uh, I've used that in the past. The only trouble is it does take some paint off. So you just got to touch it up again. But if you take your time nice and steady, you should be able to do it. No problem at all. Oh, I believe in you. Right, so all on that said, let's crack on. So, as you can see, I've painted all three walls. Now we're going to move on to the feature wall. But, as I've got the roller full of paint, a little tip is to wrap it up in clean film, nice and tight, and then that means once the paint's gone off on the other three walls, um, you can still use the same roller and it will still be fine to use instead of washing it up each time or even throwing it away which is just a waste. So I like to wrap it up in clean film, just bog standard clean film from your kitchen cupboard and then that way it will stay fresh for three or four hours or even overnight um, and then you'll be able to take off the old clean film and crack on with your painting um, for your second coat. As you can see, the featured wall is almost done. Probably needs one more coat. As you can see, down the sides, I haven't cut in. And that's because we're going to be doing panelling on this wall. So the panels actually go in the corners either side. So we've just only had to make sure that the roller head goes furthest up as we can to the wall either side. And then the panelling will actually cover that corner and coming out. So that's why we've done it that way. And in the next coming videos, I'll show you how we do the panelling on this wall. 
So it's so next morning, we've let the walls fully dry now. We have noticed that there are a few dings and scrapes on the walls. It's just where the plaster's caught with its trail. This isn't a big deal. All we're gonna do is knock up some wall filler, fill over these, give it a sand over, and then give the, all the walls a good lick of paint. And then if we're happy with that, then that'll be us finished. But if not, we're gonna give the walls another sand over and then give them another lick of paint and hopefully two or three coats, that should do it. So walls are nice and colourful, ceilings are nice and white, that means we can move on to our next stage. Uh, a couple of you might be thinking why I haven't fitted the skirted walls just yet, uh, because there's just a couple of ways of doing it. So my way is to roll the walls like I've done and then fit the skirting boards afterwards. And then all you've got to do is cut in with the white on the skirting boards only and then your job done. Or the other way is before you paint any of the walls, you fit all your skirting boards and then you paint it all at once. The only thing is you've got to cut in with your colour on the walls across the top of the skirting and then also you've got to cut in with the white paint on the skirting walls as well so you've got to do two lots of cutting in it just depends where you are on your build um, I say you just do whatever way suits you because I can delay the skirting boards a little bit further along it means I can paint the walls all the way down fit the skirting boards just paint the skirting boards and then I know it's job done but that is all we have time for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe to the channel and uh, I shall see you in the next coming videos. Thank you very much. Cheers, bye.